it's coffee time. Do you like my super jank ball setup over there? I guess it doesn't look as jank anymore, but like over there this morning looked crazy pants because if you watch a lot of Polaris stuff, you probably know we're doing like a Monster Hunter thing where they pair up a person who's really good at Monster Hunter and a person who has never played it before. And I was like, that sounds fun because a lot of people have told me that Monster Hunter is great and I've just never played it. So I was like, sure, I'll be one of the newbies, whatevs. So today, um, Flick and I played it together and I was like, okay, I'm gonna make this happen. Because <laughs> I got the Wii U like really late last night. And so I'm like plugging everything and just praying like, please, please, please just work. And like, I took my microphone arm and attached it to the, <laughs> the coffee table. I ran everything through that laptop, which is not a very high intensity laptop, and then attached um, my little hard drive to it and made it so that it was pulling the game capture data directly in the hard drive. <laughs> I was like, please, please, God, just let all of this work. And somehow it did. And I'm so happy. And we had a lot of fun. So um, I, I actually don't know when those videos are going up, but... We made them. We made them and they're happening. And uh, Flick was really, really cool. Really cool to talk to. We talked about haggis for a while because apparently every time I meet somebody who's Scottish, I have to be like, look, I love haggis. Can we talk about this? Because I'm that guy. But look, I love haggis. Can we, can we legitimately talk about that? Um, yeah, let's see. And then, so that was pretty early in the morning. So after that, I made news. And I need to learn how to color correct because that show, like, I love the way that it looks, but it's very, um, cool toned. It needs to be a little bit warmer. So I'm going to mess with that a little bit or ask somebody to teach me. Maybe Aaron, maybe, maybe Miss Happily Aaron. I'll be like, Hey, can you teach me how to fix the thing? Because they don't know how to do it. Um, yeah, it just looks so like f frosty. And not like the cool sort of frosty, like, oh man, we floss and we look so frosty. Like, not that sort of frosty. Just, it, it looks too harsh. So, because there's a skylight up there. That hallway back there, um, during the day, it's really bright in there because there's a big skylight on the ceiling. So, that's one of the reasons I really like it. Because I'm like, I don't have to do anything in here. Like, <laughs> it's perfectly fine. But, um... But there is echo, and it is very bright, so, you know, I just, I need to, I need to, to learn some new stuff, and that's perfectly okay. But I really like the location now, and I really like doing news once a week. I think that it helps me focus on the things that are actually worth talking about, <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> and the episodes get to be ten minutes long. Yeah. Also, I'm very proud of myself. I went back, and I was like, how many gameplay videos did I put up? last week in between news episodes. I put up, um, actually including the news video that I put up today, I put up seven videos, I think, last week, which is awesome. That's like, that was the goal. That's what I wanted. So I was really, really jazzed about that. It's like, yay! Look at this! Ah! <laughs> like from Saturday to Saturday, we had a good run. We did, we did a lot of things. So let's, let's keep that up. I'm noticing that it's becoming a lot easier. Like over time, the more that I do it, um, the more that I'm like consistently doing gameplay, it's a lot easier for me to just jump right into it and just do it and have a lot of fun with it, which is nice. But yeah, so I think that everything for Press Heart is going very smoothly. And I'm trying to come up with um, which days are going to be easiest to film like Q&As and stuff. And I've talked with uh, Aaron and Courtney and a couple other people about doing I tried's and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just very optimistic. I'm feeling very, I'm feeling very good today, even though like I worked a lot today, especially earlier in the day. And then I accidentally took a nap. And ever since that nap, I felt so not on edge, but like not shifty. That's not the right word either. Just like, I don't know. I have a lot of restless, I guess, is the best word for it. I feel restless. Like, I want to clean, but at the same time, I don't want to clean, so I don't clean. And there are a couple things I really want to sew. I'm like, oh, I should sew those things. We didn't do that either. It's like, man, need to, need to figure out what's, what's what. I need to figure out what's what. 
is really what's going on here. <laughs> so there's a thing. Did I ever show you this thing I bought? There's a uh, there's a shirt that's technically a dress, but you can't wear it as a dress. There's a shirt that I bought. Um, it was called a, a skater dress or something like that. I got it on Yes Style, and it's so cute. It like comes down like. I don't know where it is, otherwise I'd just grab it. But it's like, um, it like comes down like this and has like cool drapies right here, and then it's like really form fitting and has little cap sleeves. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute and it's on super sale. I'm totally gonna just buy it. So I bought it, and when it got here, it was too big for me, which blew my mind because most of the time, if I order things off of um, an Asian store of some sort, like it just won't fit me at all if I go by my my normal sizes but I, I had measured myself and I was like oh I think that this will actually fit me because I'm like not big all up in here so I'll you know I'll just get the small and it's too big on me it blew my mind blew my mind but I really want to sew that I want to sew that and I want to sew um the sheer drapes for this because I never did that I saw those up in my closet while my brother was here and I was like oh butts I never did that Silly, silly, silly. So, like, yeah, I've spent the last couple of hours just looking around and being like, I should do some stuff. But I had a very productive day. I don't know. I don't know, guys. It just doesn't. It just feels like I'm not doing enough. I don't think that I necessarily need to do more productive stuff. I think that I just need to be doing something else. And I'm not hungry, but because I feel like I need to be doing something, I'm like, oh, maybe I should order food. No, 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 no. Not hungry. I shouldn't order food. That's wasteful. I've been really good about eating my leftovers, by the way. I The reason I'm excited about this is because typically there are some kinds of leftovers that I'm just not good at eating. Like when I bring ramen leftovers home, I never eat them. But this time when I brought my ramen leftovers home, I was like, I'm going to make some ramen. And I got heartburn later because I had too much spicy food in a 24 hour period. doesn't matter. The fact that I ate all of it made me very happy with myself. And like I had leftover matzo ball soup. Normally I would be like, eh, it looks kind of like sludgy in there because of the matzo meal. I'm just not going to eat it. No, no, no. I heat it back up and it was delicious. Look, I'm proud. I'm so proud. I ate so many leftovers today, which is probably why I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> but I'm just like, ah. Uh feel antsy. I want to do a thing. Uh, it's uh, Playing video games doesn't help either. I tried playing a bunch of Papers, Please, and it didn't stress me out. Normally that game kind of stresses me out. It didn't stress me out. I was just like, this doesn't feel fulfilling. This doesn't feel fulfilling at all. So, I don't know. I don't know what it is, guys. I just, just need to sh shake, shake it off. Oh, but tomorrow I'm getting my eyebrows waxed. I'm very excited. I know some of you were like, and clicking off the video. No, seriously. Oh, I love freshly waxed eyebrows. It's great. Because, like, normally I've been plucking them. Like, I just haven't worried about it. And my hair just grows in, like, pretty slowly. So I'm like, whatever. Um... But they, they've gotten to be, like, pretty long and dark at this point, and I could not find my tweezers for the life of me after I move. I haven't been able to find them. And so I just let it keep going because, obviously, I'm not the sort of person that's going to be like, oh, I should order some tweezers or go buy some tweezers. No, I never think to do that. So I was sitting here today looking at myself before I filmed news, and I was like, oh, man, eyebrows, what's happened to you? Because I'm totally cool with bushy eyebrows. Like, I think that on the right person, bushy eyebrows are dope. Rock them eyebrows, ladies and gentlemen. I love them. But because I've had, like, sculpted eyebrows for so long, it looks so funny when hairs start to grow in because it's like, oh, here's lots of nice hair. And then all in here is just like, hey, hey, what's, hey, are we, like, hanging out? And I'm like, no, go away. <laughs> I don't like you at all. So, yeah. And it's gotten to the point where every makeup artist that works on me is like, oh, your eyebrows are very pretty. <laughs> like, shut up. Shut up. I'll fix them one day. It's fine. What are you doing, little girl? Yeah? What are you, what you doing? She's meowing. I don't know if you can hear it. It's really cute, though. Hey, 
doing? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, come here. What? You don't want to come here? What do you want to come here? Fine. I don't even like you. Oh, uh, look at that precious face. I don't even like you. Whatever. I have felt like, for most of this coffee time, I have felt like there is a hair on my face. But I don't think there is. I think that it's all in my imagination. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah! I found a hair! Oh my gosh, it was real. Thank God. Somebody the other day said, um, God, who was it? I don't even remember what the context was. But I kept thinking that there was a hair on my arm and I was like looking and like picking at my arm and somebody was like, you know, they've done tests and they say that um, consistently imagining that you're feeling like there's hair on you when there isn't is the first stage of signs of schizophrenia. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad. So now every time I feel a hair on me, I'm like, I swear to God, this better be real. <laughs> this better be a real hair. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anywho. Uh, I'm going to go and try to find something to do, but I hope that you guys had an amazing day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.